Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of Miss More Style and today I am finally bringing you a new haul from Shein. It has been far too long since my last haul. I think it was like for the holidays. Here we are, it is February already. So yes, this is my first haul of 2020. So if you wanna see some fun looks from Shein, many of which are quite Valentine's Day appropriate, then just keep on watching. I have quite a large Shein haul here ready for me to show you so I'm not gonna blather on too too long I have a couple quick things to get out of the way before we get started first of all make sure that if you have not done so already that you subscribe hit that button and also give this video a thumbs up if you love Shein hauls. I know you all love them. Comment down below. Let me know which one of these looks is your favorite. Have you ever shopped at Shein before? What are your thoughts and opinions? Let's chat it out in the comments. Second of all, make sure that you find me on Instagram because I post there daily on my feed and my stories and I share a lot of these looks, very fun, styled sort of ways. So make sure that you go ahead over there and follow me. All right, so before we get into all this, I just have to say thank you so much to Shein for sending me these goodies over. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you probably know I have an ongoing relationship or partnership with Shein. They send me clothes um, and I do these hauls and I post photos on my Instagram from time to time. Um, I am not paid by Shein. My opinions are all my own. Shein has definitely hits and misses for sure, and so I will not be sugarcoating what those are in this haul. So it's all honest here, folks. We keep it honest. The first item in this haul is um, this gorgeous like wrap dress. It is kind of a blush leopard print color. You can see the fabric is kind of shiny. The sleeves are split right there, and it's quite long. It has sort of like a little flouncy hem. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with this color lately. It's just such a pretty muted pink. It's not like in your face. This would be such a cute dress idea to wear if you have a date on Valentine's Day. It's, it's very classy, but it has that little hint of like, because of the leopard prints, you know what I mean? Like, rawr. I'm demure, but I'm also wild. You guys know what I mean. Here is the wrap dress on. It is so pretty. I like can't get over how flowy and gorgeous it is. Just such an easy choice for a Valentine's date. Paired it with these sparkly little Bajli Mishka heels and my little Chloe dupe that I scored from Shein so long ago. I think it pairs so, so well. And yeah, I love wrap dresses because they're just such a universally flattering fit for like whatever body type you are because they really show off like a small waist and then they glide away from things that might be <laughs> what you don't want to show off. And it's just so flirty and feminine. I really love this dress. This might be one of my favorite pieces in this entire haul. The next item is kind of a two-piece set and I saw it and I had to try it. I can't wait to try it on and see how it fits, but they come together. So it's this top, which is this bow. It zips up the back. It comes with these clear plastic straps that you can attach to it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get away with not using those because I hate the way they look. Like it's shiny, like you're not fooling anyone. They can see you have a strap. So hopefully it fits just as like a strapless top. And then it comes with this black velvet skirt, a sort of like ruffle that comes down the center of it. Uh, we'll see how these look together. I have actually big plans for that top. I hope it fits me correctly because I want to wear it with so many different things. This skirt is kind of just a cute like nice thing that comes with it but i really wanted this set especially for that top because it's so fun and so here is that matching set together unfortunately i did have to use the clear plastic straps because this thing would not have held itself up otherwise but it does fit really cute i think it's pretty adorable the black skirt that it comes with is honestly not my favorite type of skirt to wear on my body but that's okay because i wasn't really buying this set to wear it together. Next couple items are some skirts. They're actually the same skirt in two different colors. So the first one I got is this red satin skirt because obviously Valentine's like 
you gotta have some beautiful red satin pieces. It's sort of on a bias cut, so you can see the hem is like goes diagonal. And then on this side, it has a side slit. I also grabbed it in this gorgeous poppery camely color. It's literally the exact same skirt. It's just in this color. I'm gonna wear this one so much, I think, because it's just such a beautiful neutral color. It just looks so luxe. And I've really been into monochromatic looks lately. And this really reminded me of an outfit that uh, Meghan Markle wore recently. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to grab it. But I'll show you guys in the styling portion how I style it. All right, so here is that bias cut skirt in the camel color. I really love this sort of monochromatic look, obviously. Paired it with some leopard print pumps to give a little bit of visual interest to it. But, oh, my purse, can't forget the bag. I love this sort of print that the shoe kind of gives a visual interest to the overall monochromatic look. If you're not really super into like the pink and the reds for a Valentine's Day dinner date, this would be a very classy sort of demure option. I The skirt just looks so much more luxe than it really is. It was probably, I think it was less than $10. So such a good buy and they come in different colors. So I, I got two colors, I might have to get more got another skirt this one is so freaking fun look at this it's like a pink metallic faux leather mini skirt it doesn't feel like the most amazing quality ever but you know what it's Shein like obviously it's not gonna feel like incredibly high quality leather because it's not but I just thought this was so fun so unlike anything that I have and this is going to be really fun to pair with a lot of different things because it's such a funky color. I can't wait to mix and match this with other colors and just like go crazy. All right. Next up, we have this little bodysuit. So it is a rose printed bodysuit, of course, so appropriate for Valentine's Day. It's got a surplus cut in the front and you can see the little bottoms are pink. Um, I love that it is a snap closure on the crotch because guys when these bodysuits don't have something on the crotch i'm not wearing it i'm just not wearing it like how are you supposed to pee without like taking off all your clothes in the stall like you guys know what i mean you know what i mean as a really fun bell sleeve going on the fabric is actually so soft and silky i really love it it does not feel cheap so here is the little pink metallic mini skirt pair this rose bodysuit i think the combination is a really really cute the colors go quite well together i paired it with the little Valentino dupe that I got and I think it works quite well with the skirt and I just really love this look I think that this style skirt is very mod. It kind of reminds me of the 60s I'm excited to style this skirt in some different ways maybe with t-shirts and different things Just to change up my wardrobe a little bit But I think this would be a really fun like funky maybe like Galentine's Day outfit going out with your friends Okay, so the next piece I got I'm really excited to play around with um, and I wore it the other night and I'm obsessed with it. And I'm kind of obsessed with pieces like this in general. Sorry, it's all inside out because I wore it the other day. But it is this sheer mesh, like long boxy uh, collared button up shirt. Um, I'm just so like into these pieces that like are sheer and playing with layering and different things with stuff like this. So this isn't like entirely Valentine's appropriate, but I did want to grab a couple things in this haul to sort of mix into my everyday wardrobe and this one i can't wait to show you how i style this all right next up we have a couple pairs of pants i love a good pair of printed pants first pair are these camel colored polka dot pants they're sort of wide leg they're high-waisted with a button and zipper closure right here and little belt loops polka dots are black i believe it almost feels velvety, but it's not velvet. It's a very interesting material that I don't know how to describe, but I love polka dots. I own so many polka dot things. It's kind of ridiculous. So yeah, what's one more polka dot piece, you know? So here is that sheer blouse with the polka dot pants. I kind of love this overall look. It's very monochromatic, but it's got really cool different textures and sort of fabrics and interesting things going on. I love pairing it with this 
clear PVC bag that I got from Amazon, which I will also link. Just kind of a really cool, very sort of edgy, um, but not too crazy outfit. And I'm so excited to play around with this sheer top more. I feel like there's just so many possibilities for different ways to do this look. All right, another pair of printed pants that will be really cute to style for a Valentine's inspired look are these guys. I absolutely love these pants. They are extremely high-waisted. They have a little button and zip fly closure there. They also have little belt loops and they are wide leg in this like black and red check print. Really cute, they're comfortable and I just think that they add so much sass to any look, just wearing like these pants, I just, I love them. So here are those red plaid pants on. They're so freaking like comfortable. They're just really flattering, wide leg. I love that they're super high waisted. I paired it with this lip, black and red lip print top as well as this little bow tie that I got from a previous Shein haul. I absolutely just love these pants. It, they kind of feel like pajama pants and anything that feels that comfortable is gonna get worn all the time. So I think this would be a really cute look if you're just going for something a little bit more casual, kind of funky, not as sort of a traditional Valentine's Day outfit. Of course, with some little leopard print flats because Leopard goes with everything, am I right? Especially red and black. Next up, this really cute top. It's in this sort of abstract pink and orange and black pattern. It is ruched in the front and it's got these sort of big sleeves with a button closure on the cuffs. The back zips up and I really, <laughs> felt like this was screaming like the 80s or something to me, but I love the colors together. Pink and orange is one of my favorite color combinations. So I really wanted to give this a try. I'm also super into like these big poofy sleeves. This was exactly right up my alley for the moment for my fashion choices lately. Right, so here is the blouse. As you can see, it is sort of a wide, neckline here it's a little stretchy right there and it's got big sleeves comes in nice at the wrist i love the colors it's so much fun paired it with some black jeans i wear these probably in all my hauls they're my favorite ayr jeans i'll link them below they're like so fantastic so worth the splurge and i loved pairing these little orange pumps with the look to sort of bring out the orange in the top very 80s but i'm really into it <laughs> Uh, and last clothing piece that I'm going to show you is another set. I saw this online and I thought I would give it a try. It is a houndstooth mini skirt and matching blazer. It's a double-breasted blazer. Now, on the picture, on the site, of course, it looked like it was a wool type set. You know that it's not. It's Shein. It's some sort of polyester, unfortunately. And it doesn't look... Like when I first opened it, I thought it looked kind of cheap and I wasn't really a fan. But then I went to an event last weekend and a girl was wearing this and she looked really cute in it. So I was just kind of like, all right, like seeing it in real life from another person sort of made me shift my perspective of it. So I'm going to style it and see if that maybe changes how I feel. I really love the idea of it. It kind of reminds me of like Alicia Silverstone in the Clueless. Um... I just wish that it wasn't like so like cheap feeling. See how it looks when I style it. All right, please do not pay attention to how white my legs are right now. It is winter time here, but I actually kind of really like the way this looks on. I think it looks super cute. Again, I feel like I'm in clueless because of this houndstooth. I went ahead and paired it with a little red round bag and of course this little red beret for a cute little touch. And you guys have seen these Nine West booties in so many of my hauls. I wear them constantly. They're so comfortable and they look cute with so many things. I went ahead and paired it with this little camel toned little turtleneck. I don't know. I think I might actually keep this because it's a really cute little set. What do you guys think? to some accessories so I got some bags some jewelry to show you all and some sunglasses so let's start with the bags the first one is this bag right here 
online it looked like it was a nude color which is why I wanted it I also thought it might be a little bit bigger than it is and it's not but it showed up and it's kind of this metallic pink color and obviously you guys know that this is duping the Valentino rock stud bags it looks pretty cute like I, I really do like the idea of it I don't know if I love that it's not the color that I thought it would be although the color is growing on me um, it comes with a strap that you can attach that has the little studs and circles on there. I hate it. Um, I'm just still not sure if I want to keep it. It is a really cute purse, although it is so tiny. So not very practical for every day, but definitely might be cute for going out. The next bag that I got, I had really high hopes for, and it is already broken. And it's this guy right here. Now this looks like Colt Gaia or like something very high end. I really, really was drawn to this, especially because when you open it up, it actually is big enough to fit an iPhone Pro Max, which some of these little clutches are not made big enough for that. So that's why I really was excited about it. But the little handle is already coming apart. So I'm pretty handy with these things. I'm gonna get some super glue and see if maybe I can repair it and keep it because I really wanna keep it. Like it has so much potential in my mind but if I can't get the handle to stay on, I will be returning it because it broke within like two minutes of me holding it, which is not cool. Two jewelry. So I got a couple pairs of earrings. The first pair are these little hearts. They kind of look like the, um, those like burning hearts, like hearts and flames that you see in like certain artwork. Let's moving on to sunglasses, shall we? these which are so much fun they're gonna be perfect for like festival season and for hello i am a hippie flower child also got these i know that these are a dupe for some sort of designer sunglasses perhaps gucci when we were in capri it's in my capri video actually when we were kind of window shopping i showed a clip of some like designer sunglasses in a shop window and these were there so i want to say they were gucci but they could be something else so if you guys know what these are ripping off comment down below but they actually have a nice weight to them they're not they don't feel too like chintzy and the detailing on them is actually quite nice for how cheap they were they're quite extra um but i'm really into it they're quite the statement piece well that concludes this haul i hope you all enjoyed watching and thank you so much if you've stayed to the very end these hauls always go a little bit longer because i always go a little bit overboard in my shopping Hope you enjoyed some of these pieces and I inspired you to try maybe a different look or try out like try to replicate one of the outfits that I put together today if you do and you post it on your social media please tag me I would love to see it when you guys recreate some of the looks that I make all right guys thank you so much again for watching I love you all and I will see you on my next video bye